Hello everybody, NC for Excel, North Carolina for Extreme Lovers. This video is for all you brand new hunters. I want to answer some basic questions that pop up all the time once you stumble on to what we do and you're sort of wondering how or what do I do or so let's just do it real quickly, give you an idea, go from there. You do not send any logs in. You do not upload any logs. You can keep logs on your own software, on your own computer or laptop, or do it like I do paper logging and keep books and books. That's the way I was brought up. But I do use a logging program, N3FJP. It meets all of my needs. It's well established with the uh, Parks on the Air people. There's helps to get around and learn it through uh, Parks on the Air uh, YouTube channel. I have some videos that are self-help type things. Uh, I am not a professional. I'm not looking for likes. I'm not looking for subscriptions. I never turn anybody away, but you don't have to push any buttons or ring any bells. And uh, I'm not advertising for other people for free things to uh, get a review on. As a brand new hunter, you log them however you like in your home. But a couple things that you need to be aware of. The activator or activators are the only ones that will confirm your contact. Okay. Some of them up to load right away. Some of them wait two weeks. Some of them wait 30 days. They're traveling. They're out of town, out of the country. So don't expect instant overnight immediate gratification for the contact. Give it time. If you have an issue with a person, feel free to email them. Most of the time you can get their addresses through QRZ. And if you see my cat come through here, that's normal. That's my little buddy. And he takes care of his daddy. Okay. So give the activator the time when you go looking. Most of the time, being brand new, you don't really know where to look. In the POTA page, on the left-hand side, <clears throat> you scroll down to where it says, Hunter's Log. Okay. Hunter's Log. When you open up on that click, it will show everybody who you've worked that was an activator. There's the secret. Activator. Let's say you talked to me on the, the radio waves uh, when uh, there was no activator and we were just queuing up some time. But guess what? <laughs> that won't be there. The only information in the hunter's log will be the activators of the station you worked. So, you don't have to email them or message them, hey, when are you going to do your logs? The activators go through an awful lot, and as a hunter, most of hunters don't realize that you have the convenience of being at home the restrooms, the food, uh, the cool temperatures or normal temperatures and things of that nature versus the bugs, the sun or the extreme cold or the liquid sunshine that may show up or the white snow that may. There's a lot of things that hunters just don't see. Uh, biggest element is propagation. When we're out, we don't know what we're going to get. And neither do you. But if you have the beam or you have the thousand watts, you're going to make it more than likely. But we're sitting anywhere from 5 watts, 10 watts, 20 watts, 100 watts, a wire in a tree or a vertical compromised antennas. So it's going to be a little different. And if you transfer from a hunter to an activator, you'll really get both sides of the coin. Okay, let's help you find out a couple bits of information. The spotting page will direct you to who's out there. Well, you got to the spotting page by clicking on the word spots. And it puts them in order, etc. Well, if you go to the spotting page, and we'll use me as an example. K, no, NC4XL. So you click on my call. 
because you uh, see that I'm in a park uh, 6231. Well, when you do that, I want you to look at the very bottom of that uh, window that's open, and you're going to see a green iconish, uh, and it says history. You can actually click there and see what time I started on what bands, and if I was in one park or two parks. Any time anybody respots on the spotting page, the information that was put in the comments section goes away and replaced with any new comments. Okay? So when you're going to go there, if you're going to respot, and we appreciate you respotting, okay? The comments that you put there are going to replace what was there. To find the previous comments, go to that little green icon circle down at the bottom of uh, my spot and where it says history click on it and it'll show you all the information if you have two or three operators or two or three different parks that information generally is posted there by the uh, activator so that you're still able to retrieve it great thing if you're an activator and you worked a park to park and you didn't get the other park that's a good place to find it so another secret in the wind as a hunter Please remember, we need you. We need each and one, every one of you uh, making contacts with us. That's our drive. When you work a station and you say, well, I've worked that park. I don't need to work it no more. There are many different incentives, many different incentives for working a person 20 times at that park or um, I'm activating and that's my 20th time or my 100th time activating. There's different incentives for you. There's different incentives to working that park or that person at that park. Not to be bragging or boastful, but do me a favor. Any of the calls that you hear on the air, write them down on a piece of paper and then go into the POTA page and uh, click the, on the call, uh, type the call in so you can see the their uh, information about them. You'll see two coffee cups and me. Well, if you go to the word where it says view profile, and if you look at the profile and scroll down, you'll see all the different achievements that they make. All those achievements that you see are available to you as a hunter many, many times. Now, as a hunter, you got to work all states. You want to get that done. Work all states mean once it's in your hunter's log. That means you must work a park in Alaska and Hawaii because that's the most two that are really struggling. It's got to be a park, not just somebody over there. I'll say it again. In order to work all states, it's working all states with the activator in that state at a park. A, po a parks on the air entity, not just some park in a city or whatever. It has to be one in the parks on the air system. Parks are being added very, 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 and I'll say 10 more very slowly in the United States. They're being added extremely fast overseas. And you're going to see more and more DX contacts uh, of parks overseas. So if you get up early, check the spotting page, swing your beam, turn your amp on and go have fun because they're there. If you have a request for a new park, it's got to meet certain criteria. So don't post on there. How do I get my park next to me? It's not going to change anything. What you need to do is take that energy, put it in a message to your mapping coordinator for your area. Your mapping coordinator for your area. Give the name of the park, where it's located, and then leave it with them and let it go. It's up to them. There's criteria that you and I will not understand. It has to meet that criteria before it's ever added. And right now, things are very slow to minimal, if any, in the United States. So it doesn't need to be worried about at present time. Let it go. Your new work, all the parts you hear, work them repeatedly. The different activators, you'll learn to have brand new acquaintances and friends that you'll achieve out of it. You'll get to know them by their name, uh, their style, things like that. 
this is a very addictive hobby. And it put a lot of us back into amateur radio to having fun, seeing what our equipment will do with the maximum amount of a power, a minimum amount of power, what type of antennas, different techniques. That's all available to you. Welcome to being in Parks on the Air with us. You are appreciated and a very necessary asset to the activator. Each of us activators, and I can claim that, I've got a little over 500 activations in. We need you and appreciate you hunters chasing us. You don't have to like. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to follow me. I'm not trying to benefit in any way from this. Just trying to give out some free information, answer some basic questions. And uh, I had several different self-help videos on. I still do things by paper. Uh, I can spill coffee on my paper and it can dry and I can read it. Spill coffee on a laptop or a device. Most of the time people get frustrated and the activation's over with. Not all the time, but most of the time. So, follow along. Uh, the biggest part is read the frequently asked questions. I know you don't want to do that. Most people don't. But it will answer some of your questions and then get with some of us old timers that uh, will reach out to you. That's what we're here for. Uh, that's called being an Elmer to help one another. I would want to do that before the good Lord takes me home. And anytime he's ready, I'm, I'm waiting for him to take me. So it's okay. The thing is, go out and have fun. Welcome to Parks on the Air and c 4 Excel, North Carolina for extreme lovers. Oh, I'm not. I'm just Dom, the darling old man, 73.